Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about how we can use the Docker uh, Compose and how we can setting up the, the Redis image. It's not so hard so I'll just start typing here so you can see how it's working. It's uh, pretty simple, excellent. And uh, then we say service and we will call it Redis, that's fine for me. And we take the image Redis and we don't want to put any uh, volumes in right now i will uh, uh, show you that after so first say the port number should be publix uh, here the default port in, uh, in ready should be uh, three uh, six three seven nine and we point it for the default internal too so that's meaning if you're going for the local host on your machine then you will use this port and this port is to the from the Docker host and into the into the container. So if you use it for nine thousand, that means you need to connect for local host nine thousand, and then the Docker um, setup will will point for the container for this port. If you don't use any port numbers here, that's meaning you don't is allowed to connecting outside and in. So that's saving it and going for. The, the terminal here and we will say docker compose up and then we just spin it up here and then you can just see how it's uh, working here and uh, that's uh, fine redis is already up, up and running so let's going back and we just say d and i will uh, try to connect it uh, if you say docker container ls whoops not this one here and you can see we have the Docker uh, with Redis here and it's up and running. It's, it's running for uh, 33, 23 sorry, seconds and that's what we want. But that's testing the connection about uh, it, it's working or not. So to confirm uh, the Redis is uh, running then we can say Tilnet, localhost and then the port number. Then you're going for the black screen, you can just type ping. And then enter then you get pong back that's meaning redis is up and running so let's going out of the, the tilnet we have here so less and then let's going back for the editor and and add the the, the volume the volumes uh, the volumes is like the the mount point and if you want the data out from the redis and start in the local uh, folder is could be many reasons for this if you want this you can just type this like uh, this is meaning this is my data folder so I will create the data folder inside here and then I want to point it for data inside the, the container I will going uh, back and docker uh, stop redis Docker Compose, of course. And then stopping my container. It doesn't. Cause my volume. We're trying one more time here. Stop it. And then we say Docker Container LS. It's not up and running, so I'll just say docker image here and I will just wipe out everything. That's cool for now. And then we say docker compose up and then we are downloading it and it's up and running again. And if we're going back for the, for the document here, you can see we should have uh, some kind of uh, data folder here. But it doesn't appear right now, so it's probably because we don't have any uh, workload on the Redis right now. But that's that's the video for me. I really hope you enjoy. I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. Just press on the thing below in the right corner. And remember, the code can be found on GitHub, so you can always download this file, and then you will be up and running in, in a minute. I really hope you enjoy, and I really hope you get out of what you search for. 
and I really hope you want to hit me the comments and ask questions if you have any kind of questions so I can try to help you. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.